Hey everyone, Dylan here. So a new Pokemon Snap is coming out, more than less, like in two days, and I'm excited as heck for it. I've been waiting for this for over 20 years, so I've, I'm more than pumped, <laughs> needless to say. As a spiritual sequel, <laughs> more likely a relaunch of the series, I hope, new Pokemon Snap looks like it's going to take advantage of the fact that it's both on the newest, uh, as a recording, Nintendo system, and um, it's going to take advantage of the fact that the it's psh, what the other one came out in like 2000, I believe. So it's going to take advantage of the 19, 20, almost 21 year time gap in between um, for technology, like how much it's advanced in the little time. So fingers crossed it'll take advantage of what its predecessor could not do. Hopefully, with both of those facts into consideration, they will give us all something that we've been clamoring for almost as long as the Diamond and Pearl remakes. By the way, thank you guys for that, and I have uh, I have full faith in you guys, but just to let you know, a review definitely will come. So, if this is another Let's Go, you will hear it from me. Oh, by the way, gonna break the fourth wall real quick. I have a windbreaker on my mic right now, so hopefully it's blocking all the peas going like... But if not, I apologize. If you want to hear my opinion on the game, there's going to be several ways you can do it. So I'm going to plug them real quick. Ready? So if you want to already hear my opinion on the Nintendo Direct where they announced new Pokemon Snap, um, that'll be linked in the description below. Um, if you want to chill on this channel for about, let's say, a week, two weeks, three weeks after uh, new Pokemon Snap comes out in the next couple of days, there should be a video, knock on wood, up in like a week but like i said just keep on tuning back in and eventually it will be uploaded um if you want to watch somebody say like this fellow ninja underscore d76 play it when it comes out um link will be in the description below knock on wood uh everything should go good my pre-order happening um my back surgery that's happening the day before um everything should be fine and hopefully whether it's the best of comedy or the worst of comedy i should be here to commentate over the game now that I have my mandatory plugs out of the way, today's video is going to be on the original Pokemon Snap. As you know by now, I feel like in order to truly appreciate a game, you must know its backstory, how it was made, and everything about the game, or at least everything I could find and or know off the top of my head. So um, with that being said, let's dive into the backstory for Snap. Originally, Pokemon Snap was just going to be a generic photo-taking game without Pokemon involved. Um, according to a quote by the late great and uh, one of my boys always and forever, Mr. Satori Iwata. Oh, he was also, by the way, for uh, official titles, he was the late president of Nintendo. When he was interviewed about a different game, he talked about the development of Snap, saying, Originally, Pokemon Snap for the Nintendo 64 system wasn't a Pokemon game, but rather a normal game in which you took photos. But the motivation for playing the game wasn't clear. We wondered what players would enjoy taking the pictures of, and later, we made a somewhat forced switch to taking pictures of Pokemon. Alright, again, just gonna break the fourth wall real quick. Um, a lot of this video will be talking about just random tidbits and stuff, so a lot of the backstory of the game basically will be in these other random tidbits as well, uh, so the best way I can describe it is what's just said. All right, so I talk about this subject kind of more in depth, a lot of more in depth, really, on an already uploaded video of the Gen 1 games. But uh, speaking of that terminology, there's a group of Pokemon fans that are predominantly known as Gen 1ers. A basic terminology of Gen 1ers is just people who are nostalgic for Pokemon Gen 1 or that believe anything past Gen 1, maybe Gen 2, and maybe Gen 3 is considered not superior. If you want a more in-depth version of it, you know, you can always watch that video if you'd like, no pressure. But, um, that's basically how you can describe it. But here's an example of, like, a Gen 1 or it's like, Wait, you mean Poliwag has three Pokemon it can become? It's only Poliwhirl and Poliwrath! I love uh, Mr. Blub Blub, or Polly Toad as uh, everyone else knows him. So shout out to Mr. Blub Blub. Again, I said something about it in the other video, whether I thought it was wrong or right, but basically 
just like I said in that video, you know, you do you, play the games how you want to, but there's way better games than Pokemon Gen 1, I'm just throwing that out there, no hate, just you enjoy it however you want to. But you know what's not fun and not okay for anybody to do or support? Racism. Alright, listen, I know I say this a lot, but once again, I hate that this has to be a topic, but I'd rather bring it up here. I have to bring it up, whether you see it as a coincidence or a stereotype or blatant racism. You know, Pokemon has been responsible for some controversial calls. Let's let's go down this rabbit hole. Pokemon came out in 1996, I believe. It didn't hit the States until, like, 1998 again, I believe. With that being said, this game didn't come out until 2000, again, I believe. So that's, what, five, five, four, four to five years that they could have gotten rid of or remodeled Jinx, per se. If you want kind of a, a, about the same call, probably. I said it in the other video. But, yeah. So if stuff like Jinx offends you, then please, please, please play the Wii U version. Because they fix all this in the Wii U. Just heads up, by the way. If you're part of the crowd that gets offended by Jinx, uh, the original form of Jinx, as I'm going to call it, um, I just want to warn you. I played the Nintendo 64 version, and it uh, fully has... I I'm just going to say offensive jinx versus non-offensive jinx. There we are. All right, yeah, ranting side aside, we're going to talk about some fun stuff again. Ready? Beta stuff! Woo! All right, so as anybody who's played the game knows... Pokemon Snap only has 63 available Pokemon, despite the fact that first gen has, well, 151 Pokemon. Apparently there are some magazine articles, uh, please forgive me by the way, I do not speak this language so I cannot call it exactly what it is, but this article that showed that there are some stages that were not even included in this. A cool fact that I have never spotted despite playing the game easily like 50 different times is that some of the Pokemon have their Japanese voice actors because they hadn't been in the anime yet, so they didn't have actual, uh, their English dub, I believe is the correct terminology. Sorry, I don't watch anime that much. But yeah, they didn't have the correct, uh, English voice actors, so it's like half and half, or whatever percentage, or whatever percentage. I can't really tell which one's which, so if you know, please do me a favor and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Oh, also, in theory, there is a ghost stage for Pokemon Snap. Composer, uh, please forgive me, I cannot say names well, this one, uh, aka Pokemon Snap's composer, uploaded an unused song from the game on her website, calling it, and I quote, uh, Tune for a Lost Stage. Hmm, very descriptive. Oh, by the way, the song was called uh, Fantastic Horror. Uh, based on that title, I kind of presume it's maybe a ghost stage but simultaneously i believe gen 1 with ghost pokemon only had like ghastly's line so it would be kind of hard to put ghost pokemon in there i don't know maybe you could do like a thing with hypno and drowsy like being spooky and maybe add some like i don't know what are some other maybe like the rattata line because purple if it's the aesthetic of like psychic I don't know. Add some, yeah, add some psychic Pokemon there. You know what? In second thought, I'm kind of sad they scrapped this. I don't know. I was sad to begin with, but I at first I kind of like understood why. Now I don't. Come on, guys. Now this is a fact that's semi widely known, but simultaneously it's a fact, nevertheless. So I have to include it. Uh, this game was originally in development for the Nintendo 64 disc drive, aka an add-on for the Nintendo 64 that could use a disc. Uh, it can also do things such as create movies, custom characters, etc. that can be uploaded online. As well. However, due to it selling criminally low, they scrapped it after making about 10 games for it. The rest were either made into cartridge-based games, added on as not DLC but extra functions per se, or just scrapped entirely. Oh, also, speaking of stuff that like I was just randomly decided to add in here, it's not beta stuff, but it's kind of like obscure stuff you can't find anymore because when pokemon snap came out there was a select number of blockbusters maybe all of them maybe a limited amount i'm not sure but point taken they had 
a machine similar to the one that is on the screen right now. Uh, they're probably all the same, but you know, in this model. Basically, you can take your copy of Pokemon Snap, insert it in, and print off your photos into a scrapbook. I believe some of the Blockbuster stores provided you with some, or you bought them somehow. But uh, according to my research, you could get select uh, booklets from uh, Nintendo Direct. So that's pretty cool. Also, again, sorry, this isn't beta per se stuff. I just wanted to give it some love. But apparently people nowadays are trying to mod Snap a lot. And there's like a little community for it. Some things that I found is that some people are trying to make it into a VR game. Uh, some people have modded some stages into it um I, I i found more than that and if i think about it i'll link them in the description below but i just i just really found it cool and i didn't know a place to put it so here we go i also another thing i didn't really have a place to put i just wanted to talk about it is i kind of find it funny the fact that this is technically the first game that had pokemon eggs in it yet the legendary pokemon are the ones with eggs the first and the last time that this will ever happen. <laughs> Alrighty, it's time to dive into the plot. I don't know what that was, I'm sorry. Okay, so the gameplay itself, honestly, is so short and simple that I, I usually do like a fast bit, but I don't, I don't really think I can do one for this. See, this game is pretty simple. So basically, you go through the courses. Hey, it's started with a tutorial. Then after that, you go to two stages. And a certain amount of points later, you receive an apple. Then you throw one out of showed. He dies. But hey, good news for you. It opens up a path to a volcano. His whole family's missing him. And they're mourning him now. It's all your fault that why he's dead. But hey, that's okay. That's life. Then you continue to the river and you hit a squirtle into a manky. Oops, I forgot to mention that in order to hit the manky and the squirtle into him, you have to get a pester ball first. And then once you get that pester ball and throw it at the squirtle, the squirtle knocks off the Mankey, and he does like a flip down the mountain. Hey, it's okay, that makes his life. Psych, here's a pester ball to the face. Oh, that Mankey's dead. Isn't that adorable? He does a flip backwards and screams. <laughs> then once you throw it at the Mankey and you kill the Mankey, its body rolls over onto a button and it opens up a secret area where, wait, what the fuck? Professor, why are you here? He then explains there's a certain number of runes on the island made by Mew to signal to the earth of their existence. So then you have to find them all. You unlock two more courses. You find six Pokemon signs, which one you need a Poke Flute for, by the way. Oh, and also they give you a speed up to do all this somewhere in the middle of all this. Then you discover Mew's secret and pretty island. You take pictures of Mew. You find all 63 Pokemon, <laughs> Mew included, and bam. You 100% of the game, and if you include doing the adorable little side things that you can do, no spoilers by the way. Honestly, you can successfully complete doing this in under an hour if you attempt to, and it's okay because here's all 63 Pokemon. I'll help you out. Whoa, what's up, speedrunner Dylan here? Ah, ready? There's. All right, so honestly, I was gonna do like a speed bit there, telling you all the Pokemon where to find them at, but thankfully, save my voice. This Bulbapedia article exists. So I will just show it on screen right now. I am buying some time. Oh, if you want to just read it yourself, there's a link to the article in the description below. I hope it's a thousand percent accurate. But um, yeah, there's some cute Easter eggs that the Pokemons do too. Uh, but I'm going to keep it all secret because honestly, if you play the game, you'll find it while playing the game. Or if you look up some like how to 100% Pokemon someone from one website on like those cheat code websites will spoil it for you so i don't want to be the person who spoils your fun so by all means do it yourself have fun enjoy the beautiful game <laughs> well <laughs> you know that is unless the footage on the screen is already showing some then <laughs> oops hee <laughs> hee all right but that does it for the story in all sincerity Just like this video, Pokemon Snap is honestly such a short and sweet game. Yet rather it's through the means of modding it to go on VR, as previously mentioned, or showing off some disk drive beta footage. I'm not going to show that, but you know, if you want to look it up, description below, it's kind of cool. Or, if it's as simple as recreating the stages as a whole, this fandom for Pokemon Snap has kept it alive and running so strongly that's why that this remake is happening because of us fans honestly so on behalf of myself my childhood self thank you you're partially the reason why i'm getting to relive a nostalgic run so thank you
I think it's pretty cool that Nintendo has had their finger on the pulse with the audience, considering the fact that up until about maybe until the Switch came around, they were starting to get known, in my opinion, as a tone-deaf company that would just rely on their quote-unquote cash cow franchises. And that's not a knock at them. I mean, for a while there, they kind of felt like they were creatively stuck in a wormhole and financially they didn't know what to do. So, I mean, if you had to rebuild your company from internally, then, you know, you, you do you on that. I'm just glad they could resolve their personal issues as a corporation to come out strong and become the Nintendo we all know and love. All right. Just on a closing note, I would like to say this on behalf of all the remakes slash all of the new sequels to old games like this and like Diamond and Pearl's remake coming out, I would like to say this just to all the fans out there. While this may be overdue, and we personally feel like, you know, it's about time they did this Nintendo, blah, 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 blah. Just keep in mind that at the end of the day, Nintendo really doesn't owe us anything. <laughs> we should just be happy that we're receiving this finally and that this isn't something, hopefully, that they're just rushing out to give us content and something they've had plenty of years to put love into to build. Judging by the trailers that I've seen for it so far, it looks like they've genuinely put a lot of love into this game. So let's return the favor and give a lot of love back to them however possible. Oh, and let it be known that if I do not receive a Pokemon Rangers remake in the next handful of years, I will attack. Hi everybody, post-editing Dylan here. Um, just let it be known that, uh, sorry, the, the mic audio is weird. I hit record before I was ready. I digress. Um, let it be known that this video took me a lot longer because I procrastinated. Yay! Um, back surgery is tomorrow technically today as this gets uploaded um i was trying to think how to say it sorry but yeah long story short i'm gonna probably need like a week to recuperate a week to get footage and a week to like just breathe after uploading three of these videos consecutively so if i'm gone next week you know why but if i'm not next week should be new pokemon snap and then after that, this series might take a different uh, a different genre of games, per se. I don't know that factually, but maybe, just maybe. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you for watching this trilogy. That's not really a trilogy. It's more of a start of a series, but whatever. I digress. Thank you for watching from the bottom of my heart. I love you. Stay alive. Stay safe. Wear a mask. Drink water. Go to sleep properly. I'm your mother, I'm your father, I'm your brother, sister, and your friend. So the other, I was trying to think of that song anyway. Anyway, stay sexy, YouTube. Ninja D, shining off.